Invertebrates are some of the most beautiful and captivating creatures that we can keep in our home aquariums, but this makes choosing the right ones extremely difficult. I'm going to help you narrow it down with five inverts that are perfect for beginners starting out in the saltwater aquarium hobby. My name's George, and in this coral fish video, I'm finally going to be covering my top five inverts, which you guys have been non-stop requesting for since I released my video on the top five inverts that beginners should avoid. Now, choosing good inverts is a little bit trickier because people get them to serve a variety of different purposes. Some people will buy them just because they want to add beauty to their tank, but some people will buy them to fix very specific issues that their tank is facing. But the majority of you beginners should focus on buying hardy inverts that are not just cool looking, but will serve as a good cleanup crew to help maintain a healthy and balanced reef tank. Now before I get started, I just wanted to mention a quick update for my regular viewers. Next weekend, I'll be attending Reefapalooza New York at the Meadowlands Expo Center. If you're able to make it, you should definitely come to this show. I'm going to be there both days and I'd love to meet and hang out with as many of you guys as I can. This is one of the biggest aquarium shows in the country and it's going to be an absolute blast with tons of speakers, coral vendors, and free samples. Alright, let's get started with number one. Tuxedo urchins. These are peaceful and reef safe urchins that are guaranteed to vigorously graze on a wide assortment of algae. These seriously make quick work of dirty tanks, and if your tank ever becomes too clean and it runs out of things to eat, you can always just toss it a piece of seaweed. Generally speaking though, these are extremely low maintenance and as close to 100% reef safe as it gets. These urchins don't get bigger than two or three inches, but they'll definitely be noticed and make for good conversation of those viewing your tank. They'll look especially funny when they cover themselves with algae and other debris, which serves as camouflage. Tuxedo urchins have hundreds of spines and two feet constantly sensing their surroundings, which help them avoid bulldozing rock and coral like other urchins. If you can't get a hold of any tuxedo urchins, there's a very similar type called pink cushion urchins which would make a great second choice and they can dance Can't touch this. Break it down. number two the blood red fire shrimp these shrimp are without question one of the most vibrant and attractive species of inverts available I personally prefer the fire shrimp over the cleaner shrimp because it seems to spend more time scavenging for leftover food rather than cleaning parasites and excess tissue off of fish. I've always thought that the fire shrimp was a little hardier than the cleaner or peppermint shrimp, but if you want something that's gonna be out all the time, then you should definitely go with the very similar cleaner shrimp. Fire shrimp will be a little bit more shy in big tanks and spend a lot of their time in the rock work. If you have the extra cash, I personally think fire shrimp are worth it, but either way, bow shrimp are great scavengers, easy to care for, and would make really cool additions to any reef tank. Fun fact, the last time I talked about the fire shrimp on this channel was before I'd hit puberty. Hi, this is George, and in this video, I'll be covering everything there is to know on the blood red fire shrimp. And number three, trochus snails. Most beginner hobbyists don't really pay attention to the first types of snails they get, but certain types like trochus snails can actually make a huge difference. Also called turban snails, these are easy to care for and very good at feeding on algae, cyanobacteria, and diatoms amongst your live rock, substrate, and aquarium glass. These are more expensive than other snails, but they will breed often and can actually flip themselves back over after they fall down, which is a huge advantage. They really are the best in the business at cleaning your tank until it's spotless, which makes them worth the extra coin. If you can, try to get small ones so they can get in between frag plugs and hard to reach places. As a general rule of thumb, you can get one of these for every two or three gallons of your aquarium water, and trochus snails are very peaceful, and other crabs can't really eat them or mess with them because of their shell's unique shape. Whether you're a beginner or advanced hobbyist, you can't go wrong with some trochus snails. Number four, copepods. This choice might surprise some of you, but copepods are actually one of the most underrated inverts that you can provide for your saltwater tank. These tiny organisms are a natural part of the food chain, and they graze on phytoplankton, bacteria, and in some cases detritus, which all help clean your tank. They're also a natural food source for tons of different fish, especially mandarin gobies. Whether you're setting up your first reef tank or you're just trying to improve an already established setup, introducing copepods can be a very beneficial way to improve the health of your reef tank. These can easily be bought online and one of the best places you can buy pods from is algaebarn.com. They offer a wide variety of different types as well as quantities at an affordable price with quick overnight or two day shipping. They also offer other inverts like those trochus I just mentioned. And like always, I have a special discount code for you guys, which is exclusive to the viewers of this channel. I'll put it down in the description below. <laughs> and finally, number five, the best and most loved invert by hobbyists is... 
Nostarious Snail. This is how I clean my tank. From all those green algae outbreaks. I blame it on my high nitrates, baby. Nostarious Snail. They keep your salmon nicely stirred. They are the best scavengers. And faster than Bernie Sanders, baby. <laughs> what? Nostaria snail. Nostaria snails are without a doubt the most popular invert in our hobby because of their killer reputation for keeping sand beds clean. They burrow in your sand bed with only their snorkel sticking out, and when they detect food, they'll quickly emerge and chase after it. Their constant movement over the substrate will keep your sand stirred and looking clean. This also helps aerate the sand, which helps prevent the growth of slime algae or cyanobacteria on the substrate surface. Nostaria snails have really fun personalities. They're very peaceful. They don't get bigger than about an inch and they last for a really long time. They're extremely hardy. So they'll make great additions to any reef tank with a sand bed. The star Rhea snail. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like down below. I wanna see, can we get this video 1,000 likes? I've never challenged you guys to something like that before, but I wanna see how strong 12G Nation is. I think we can do it. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel and to watch my video on the top five inverts that beginners should avoid. Remember to keep those nitrates low. George, out.